Welcome to Hits FM. How oh, are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I was looking forward to come here mm. um, last week, but yeah, today was the time. Mm, you couldn't make it last week, yeah? I couldn't. Or you had, you had issues along the way? Um, I don't know what happened with mm. the management, but we mm. couldn't get the slot we oh, wanted, okay. yeah. Yeah. But it's all good once we're here. Yeah, I mean, I'm we're, here. We're here finally. to get it out. Now, uh, you were telling me about uh, your charity that you were bound to... Uh, to launch, to launch that yeah. is all this weekend, right? That's this weekend, yeah. yeah. Um, that's the Alice Mackenzie Foundation. Okay, as well, what is it about? What is it about? It's is is a charity foundation to help. It's just me giving back to society. Mm. I've been doing it for quite a number of um, times um, in closed doors, but I decided to let it you know come out publicly so um people will know the good work that i'm doing with mm. my team and also to to use the the foundation to also um bless people as well so I'm, okay i'm being told that you're a registered nurse as well yeah wow and yeah you, you're practicing in the uk um yes i've been practicing in the uk for over 15 years as a registered 15 nurse 15 years yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. that's amazing. That's amazing, and that's why every time I come back home, I see the health um, industry as lacking a lot. You know, mm. so I decided to also do this um, in a way of helping my my country. What are some of the things that we can do to improve the health sector? Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot we can do. Um, I think <laughs> I don't know, but. Facility, um, resources, mm. uh, staffing issues, um, bed issues. There's a lot that we we can do, but um, slowly we will get there. Definitely, we have to get there. Yeah. Now, tell me about your journey. I mean, 15 years in uh, as a health worker, mm-hmm. uh, you've definitely it's it's been a, a an up and down yes, movement. Yes, yes, Some yes. of your rest experience, like being oh, a health professional. Oh gosh, um, that was when I was um, mm. when I was working in the intensive care unit. Mm-hmm. Um, so people on ventilator, um, life support. Mm-hmm. And I remember my lowest was when my consultant will come and tell, because I was the department manager. Okay. And so the consultant will come and tell me, okay, this patient has been on the ventilator for maybe over a year or three months or so, mm-hmm. and still hypoxic and maybe nothing they can do to, for it, you know, to, to get the person back to life. And so you have to switch the machine off. And that was my lowest. I always, I wow. remember I always had to run away and maybe um, just ask someone to do it. Because to me, although the person is gone, it's like you taking someone's life away. How, how, how is it like? How medically. Is it, how is it like in this scenario? Like, so the person is virtually dead. Yeah, virtually dead. So the machine is breathing for them. And when it happens, there's nothing basically... They've tried everything and they they can't they can't do anything get again. Get the person back to um, life. No, they can't get them back to life. So intensive care unit is is one of the the hardest units to mm. work as a health professional. And um, I remember going to bed when I finished work, going back home. I'm hearing ding ding ding. You know the machine yeah. just ringing in my mind, and I'm like, nah, I can't do this anymore. But so, so if the person is dead, won't won't how, I'm I'm trying to think through it. Like, mm. how does it feel? Like, if the person is dead, then yeah. that means the the body's not functioning. Like, yeah. there's no there's no. So you know, there's hope. You know, so that a person aside, can bounce back to life. Yeah, aside medical, there's also a miracle. You know, mm, tell me so about that. So some families refuse. I remember there was this guy who had a brain injury, had so many things going on medically that we all knew that there's mm-hmm. no way this child will survive. Having said that, the family insisted. Um, it was it was on the news, um, UK new, news forever. Mm-hmm. If you Google, you find out about the story. So the family refused to take the child, you know, a home, mm-hmm. and um, was hoping that the child would survive because it has happened before. So they were just hoping, but the child had been on the ventilator for over a year, and it's very costly as well. So um, it was costing you know the hospital mm-hmm. and the staffing and all that because it has to be one person one nurse to to Man- one patient okay. and all checks has been done all you know everything was done and um he was pronounced dead but we were still looking after this child as if he was alive breathing through the ventilator 
So wow. it's very difficult. I mean, Doesn't when, the when body someone decay in, in the case like that, because um, yeah. So the government has to be involved. Um, petition was, you know, was done as well. The family did not want to take the child, even though the body was decayed. Yeah, but uh, they didn't win the case, so we had to switch the ventilator off eventually. Wow. Yeah. That it's must, tough. That must have been tough. Yeah, very tough. And um, my lowest is also working in the A and E, um, accident and emergency unit. Is also one of the difficult places. I've heard about yeah, that. yeah. You've seen some. I've seen it all. <laughs> <You've> seen <laughs> 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 but how how is it like in relationship with the patients and seeing them come in at their lowest point yeah. and also living healthy yeah. and all that? How does it feel? It feels good because you know when someone comes to hospital in a state and going back home in in you know in a healthy way, it makes you feel proud that you've done something amazing to someone's life or you saved a life so mm. it, the feeling is good um over here i've been to so many hospitals undercover to see what we lack in here um if a person is admitted in abroad it's you and you and your patient so it's the mm -hmm. nest the patient and the health mm -hmm. who helps the nest to mm -hmm. to obviously look after the patient here is you the patient and your family member mm. so if there's no family and member god. looking after you and god and god <laughs> and then you are stuck if you need anything and you call a nurse they're not happy to help you immediately i don't yeah. know whether it's staffing issues or that's just the norm here you need to have a family member with you it's not like that mm. it, yeah so there's a lot of differences um mm. that yeah Ladies and gentlemen, Alice McKenzie is my special guest this morning on Showbiz Review here on Daybreak Hits on Hits 103.9. We're having a conversation uh, about her career, I mean, in the health industry and then also in the music industry. Now, let's switch to music. Let's do music. Sure, sure, now, sure. tell me about some of the collaborations that you, you know have on your wish list. Because yeah. I'm not. I'm sure anytime you come to Ghana, yeah. you listen to a couple of uh, artists, mm -hmm. uh, whether secular or mm -hmm. gospel, or gospel. You, you listen to them and you, yeah you might be thinking maybe you know i have a song that might vibe well with this yeah. artist who are some of the artists on your wish list um well um circular artists mm -hmm. circular, circular gospel, gospel. Uh, whether oh, ghana or even foreign let me know okay so <laughs> foreign mm -hmm. chris brown chris brown so you want to do a gospel <laughs> song with chris brown i tell you mm -hmm. what is it um, about chris that i you don't admire? know i just like him mm -hmm. um i like his um I literally like everything about him. He's very talented mm. uh, music-wise. Whatever happens socially, I don't want to know. But he's mm. very talented mm -hmm. with his music. And I've followed him and um, his style for a very long time. And yeah, I like his music. Mm -hmm. um, in Ghana... I don't want to put myself into any jeopardy, so I'll skip that. You want to skip that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I've done a lot of collaboration with mm. the gospel um, artists, not the females, but um, the male. I've done Chris Yotin. I've done it mm. with um, Noble, Kobe Mante, yeah, okay. Noble Nketia, and mm. Morris as well. So I'm mm. yet to find um, someone that I would connect with mm. i mean the female artists that i will connect with so we can do one for you how does collaboration come about is it from the, the song perspective or the energies between the artists mm -hmm. uh, which one do you look out for first um most of the time is 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 the relationship so mm. let's say i'll i write songs as well so sometimes i'll write a song and then i'll call maurice that bro listen to this song and he, if he likes the song and um wants to chip in he'll say alice let's put this in let's do that come to the studio let's record it and if i have time i'll fly down and, and do it. so most of the time it's, it's the relationship i have with them the the artist or the producers or whoever and then sometimes i get people who will are willing to write songs for me and mm. if i like it like uh, my new song um beautiful was written by um kobe mante okay so yeah oh nice so it depends the mood and what the message is and who i have to connect to or school, connect with school me on this alice yeah um for the gospel music industry, mm -hmm. how does this work? How does it work when it comes to collaboration? Do you, is it is it uh, on a split level, split sheet, or you pay money up front? Uh, because yeah, <laughs> yeah. How, how does it how does it work? See, 
in as much as it's gospel, there's money mm. involved. Mm. Um, someone wasting their time to write a song for you mm. um, could have used that precious time to go to work and get money. So mm. I understand how it works in the business. And so I don't expect anything free. Okay. So when this, when a song is written for me, mm-hmm. I make sure that I ask, is it going to be split? Okay. Do you want an upfront money? And most of the time it's upfront money. And so they don't mm. have any shares in it. Mm. Um, so all my collaborations is solely mine. Okay, so yeah. they relinquish the part to you. Yes. Mm. Let me ask you about this when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. You've, I'm sure you've monitored the Ghana Music Awards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For Gospel Artists of the Year <laughs> and other categories that uh, that lie in there, yeah. have you ever considered submitting for your uh, submitting for? Or you've done that before? Um, I haven't done it before, but I feel like this is the time. I feel ready. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done it in the UK. Mm-hmm. I've won some awards, Ghana Music Awards in the UK, in the UK and okay. yeah, and also um, other platforms as well. Mm. But I haven't done any submissions yet. But in this, Ghana, in Ghana, Ghana okay. I haven't. But I feel like this is the time for okay. me um, because over the years, maybe. It's me because I've I wasn't promoting as much as I should have, mm. and I didn't want to waste the people's time mm. and my time as well because any you know, reason why you were not pushing? Um, no particular reason. Maybe my I wasn't coming as much as I should have mm-hmm. to come and promote it. Mm. So yeah, this time I'm ready. Um, I was doing most of my promotion in the UK, mm. and. But now, this is where I come from, so I have to make sure. And, and I'm singing in my dialect as well, so Great. the people understand me, I understand them. Um, I, feel, I feel this is the time. For the UK market, you, you, you're virtually dominating over yeah, the UK yeah, market, yeah, yeah. the gospel fraternity. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm being told about uh, you, your event in the UK. Yeah. Uh, what what is it called? So it's called the Altar Praise. Um, it's a gospel show that mm-hmm. um, every year we look... Um, we look at maybe um, the music industry who is who is more vibrant, mm-hmm. who who the people want to see, and then we we get those artists on board, and we all come mm-hmm. together for that show. Um, sometimes I get people from Nigeria, South okay. Africa. Last um, I think last two years we got OJ on board. Okay. We had um, we've we've got several artists from Ghana, and this year we're doing it as well in September Mm -hmm. and we will get Noble and Morris on board as well because (laughs) we haven't seen Noble in in the UK for any show so Mm. hopefully we can, yeah. How has it been setting up the event, some of the challenges that you've encountered in, you know, setting up this event because events can be very, very frustrating. It's daunting. It's very daunting, as I said, um, very difficult in in a way that... um, you need money, you know. <laughs> so lots of money. You need a lot. Of, yeah, you need lots of money to to promote it. You need money to pay the artists. Mm-hmm. You know, to fly them from wherever they are. So we need sponsors, mm-hmm. and it's a show that everybody likes and um, loves to to be part of. So. We need money. That's all I can say. So, so, so financial challenges. <laughs> yeah. But how is sponsorship in the UK for Ghanaian-based event? Mm. Um, how is it like? In the UK, it's very difficult. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's really difficult to get sponsors in the UK because they feel like you're there, you know, so maybe you can help mm-hmm. or you can get other revenues, you know, to support that. But it, it's, it's not always the case. What they don't... Um, probably see is that um, you have to as a one person doing a show like mm-hmm. that it involves a lot of financial difficulties you have to make sure the artists are well looked after pay them mm-hmm. and, and there's nothing free I mean mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to go to such a show and, and go home f- free without getting paid mm-hmm. so it, it does involve a lot mm-hmm. and yeah we we We'll get there eventually. You, okay, so you made headlines uh, by saying that you're the biggest uh, <laughs> artist from Ghana in the UK as a gospel artist uh, then. <laughs> right. You, 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 got, you, you had <laughs> lots of bars around that, right? Uh, well, um, I still stand by it. I mm-hmm. still think um, 
if we're talking about relevance, mm. um, consistency, mm. then yes, I consider myself to be the biggest, the biggest um, gospel, artists, yeah. gospel artist yeah. in yeah. the UK currently. Mm. Because of what I feel like I've been doing, you mm. know, I'm doing a lot in the society over there. And yes, I, I feel like I should. What What do you think? Is that that card that you have, that wild card that you have over all your competitors in that field? What what makes you the biggest? What artist? makes me? Because I'm out there and mm. I'm doing the the most. Mm. I'm doing the work. I'm always um, bringing new stuff out. I'm mm. helping out. It's it's not just the music. It's everything mm. around me. And okay. yeah. How long have you been doing music? Take me back. How long have you been doing this? Um, so professionally since 2018, mm -hmm. that was when I came out with my first song. Um, and then I did, um, I think I came out with the album in, on, I think the same year, 2018 came out with the first album, 2019 mm -hmm. EP. Thereafter I started my, um, gospel show mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. And ever since then it has been, um, yeah. Okay, so straightforward. Okay, so comparing the two markets, the uh, UK and Ghana, promotion wise, which territory is hard or very difficult to promote music and which one is easier? <laughs> I think Ghana is very difficult. Mm. Maybe because I don't live here or okay. yeah. So that's why I have decided to come home every time I come out with it. Not just when I come out, but I come home more often. Mm. And so the people would also familiarize themselves with me and you know that okay this is the person behind the song because they know the song mm. but they don't know who is behind it mm. and um over uh, over there in the uk because i'm there mm -hmm. and the, the media team knows me it's very easy for them to connect with me mm -hmm. and the people to connect you get your me. message out exactly mm. or they see me on platforms mm. um that's you know regularly on a regular terms but here it's not the same okay. so i'm working towards that that i'll be coming frequently and mm. i will be out there for my song to be premiered in in most um, platforms okay so um before we wrap up this morning uh your take on mm. gospel musicians featuring secular artists now this has been one of the hot button mm. issues in Ghana in recent times, um, certain gospel artists believe that, you know, we don't have to open the door. I think we had Joe Metal in here a couple of uh, weeks ago, mm. and he was of the view that he doesn't even want to open the door. He doesn't want to start the conversation on who, uh, uh, if a gospel artist is, is to feature a secular mm. artist, he doesn't want to open the door. He's not okay. interested in that. You know, other, others are also of the view that, yo, look, it's music. At the end of yeah. the day, it's the message that you are going to yeah. deliver. Yeah. It doesn't mean that when you cross over to another artist and their brand, definitely it makes you look, you know, unholy exactly. and all that. Yeah. Some also believe that it doesn't even, you don't even have to let a secular, you know, artist write a song for you in the case of Joyce Blessing and Kwame Eugene, you know, the banger that they dropped that last year, they're about, you know, they faced a lot of mm. criticism on that. Mm. What do you have to say with this particular issue, to this particular mm. issue? Right. I don't want to be hypocrite because I listen to a lot of um, secular artists mm. because it's not just what they do is the message. Sometimes some of the message shapes our lifestyle. Chandler is um, is is a gospel artist, an mm. American gospel artist. He he featured Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. It went viral. Just Justin has now won souls from his camp mm -hmm. for Christians. Mm -hmm. A lot I can mention names, and so I would not sit here and say that um, if a secular artist, I've I've, I've actually. Um, Secular artist has featured me before, okay. but it was a gospel song okay. um, under the writer in the UK. Mm -hmm. And the song is beautiful because mm -hmm. he said to me that he could not think of anybody that could send that message out mm -hmm. other than me. Mm -hmm. And so he reached out. I spoke to my team and they said, yeah, why not? Because the song is beautiful. I have won shows from his camp. Mm -hmm. Right. So if we are doing gospel, God does not... What was the word for it? Um, discriminate? He doesn't discriminate or everyone is equal. It's mm. equal opportunity. So yeah. why would I say you better than me or I'm better than you? So mm. I, I don't want to be associating myself with mm. you. No, mm. no. 
Mm. So I would do it if, as I said, if Chris Brown comes now and say, let's do a collab, I would jump into it. So be it a gospel song or a secular song, you Sorry. have... Be it a gospel song or a secular song. But it has to be a gospel. It has to be it a gospel. It has to be a gospel okay, song. Okay, so if, yeah. if, if Chris Brown is to reach out to you oh, yeah. if, and say, if, let's do a song. Yeah. The first would be, is it a gospel is it, song? It's a gospel song. If it's a gospel song, I'll do it. If Shatawale reach out to me, mm. Sakode, whoever, mm. reach out and say, I want to do a gospel song with you. Mm. Yes, I'll do it. Mm. Mm. Okay. So as we wrap up, there's also one hot button issue. Let me pick your brain on this mm. one. So uh, Nathaniel Bassi was also in Ghana a couple of uh, yeah. months ago. And yeah. also he said that, you know, he believes that this year, 2024, Ghana music, especially gospel music, is mm. going to take a new turn. Yeah. Now he believes, however, that, you know, the language in which we communicate in or write our songs in needs to shift a little bit, you know, mm. you know, by using or incorporating English yeah. in um, uh, our music. Yeah. What's your take on that? I did not agree with him mm. because music is um is rhythm. You mm. know, if if I, I we've been playing this magic mag, I can't remember da 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 Magic system. We did not know what that means, what they were talking about. It's but a we broken heart song. As pr- precisely I didn't know until today. Mm. But I I song. like it because of the rhythm, yeah. how it goes. It's danceable. And so music does not necessarily mean it has to be in your dial, um, in someone's dialect or in English, for mm. you to understand. Mm. If you like it, you like it. Mm. I sing his song Onishe Iyanu. Mm. I've, I've sang it severally in churches. I don't. I did not understand what that means, but I had to obviously Google and interpret yeah. and and find out what the meaning mm-hmm. of the song was. And so he sings so many songs in in his dialect, and I, that's why I don't agree. If one likes a song. It doesn't matter what dialects they use mm. or, or what language they use. Great. Alice, thanks a lot for joining us this Thank morning. You. I appreciate it. Uh, so you have uh, you, you have two projects coming up. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, your lunch in your foundation that is this, this weekend. This weekend. Uh, kindly give us more details on that. Uh, yeah. And the, the date, if you if you expect people to come there, if yeah. you don't want people to come there, to let us know. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes, as you said, it's on the 3rd of August and it's going to be launched in Accra. Um, in Santa Maria, the details are on my um, website. Mm-hmm. So it's in my website www.aliceammusic.com. Um, All the details will be there, the location and everything. So mm-hmm. people should jump over there, okay. and they will find it. And also, stream the song is Alice McKenzie um, on all media platforms, mm-hmm. um, Audio Mark, Boom Play, um, Spotify, everywhere. Please, mm-hmm. if you're listening. Okay. So what's the new project you're pushing? So the new project at the moment is to launch a foundation and my um, annual auto praise in September. In September. Yes. Okay. Alice, thanks a lot for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you so much. Head straight to all the DSPs. Alice McKenzie. This is Pits.